set it greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Now for this one, it's a little bit unique in the fact that we have a quadratic, so in order to find where these regions are, you need to factor. So we're looking, when is this uh, quadratic greater than zero? Well, to factor this, what numbers multiply to give you five that have a sum of negative six? That'd be x minus five and x minus one. From there then, right, I'd want you to draw yourself a little sketch. So this root right here would be over here at five. This one would be at one. The graph is a positive quadratic, so this is coming from unit five again, and it would make a parabola like so. When is this graph greater than or equal to zero? This graph is greater than or equal to zero when x is greater than or equal to five, so in this region, and when it's in this region, when x is less than or equal to one. Case number two. We would take my absolute value this time, and of course we'd set it less than zero. And you can just refer to the graph that we have over here again. Um, you can see that the graph is less than zero in this region right here, so we would say, when x is less than 5 and greater than 1. So those are just your restrictions, okay? And so now what we're going to do is the same thing that we did before. So I'll draw my little line again, and we will just solve this. So we'll take your original equation, the x squared minus 6x plus 5, and notice how I get rid of the absolute value signs on this side for case 1. When you do this, notice that these 5s will cancel. We have x squared minus 6x is equal to 0. Factoring out an x, you have x minus 6, like so. We end up seeing that x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 6. Now, right here, what I will do is I will check these again against my restriction. x equals 0. Well, notice how that falls in this region right here, so that means this one is good. x equals 6 falls in this region up here. That means that is also a good solution. Let's come over and try the next one. Now, with case 2 always, the only thing different is you take what that absolute value is, and I just want you to put a, a negative in front of it. And then we will distribute that in in a second. So we end up getting negative x squared plus 6x minus 5 is equal to 5. I will gather my like terms onto the right-hand side so I can keep my x squared positive. This gives me x squared uh, minus 6x plus 10. At this stage, what I would do is I would try to factor it if you can. Numbers that multiply to give you 10 that have a sum of negative 6. Turns out there aren't any, right? And so in, in that case, what you'd have to do is you'd have to use the quadratic formula here. So it'll give us a little bit more real estate we would get x squared, sorry, not x squared, just x, is equal to negative b, so that would be 6, plus or minus, the square root of b squared, so that would be 36, minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times 10 will give you 40. And at that stage, I hope you see that that's a problem, because this is going to result in a negative number right there. So that means, in this example, we have no solutions that come from case number 2. Okay. So your final answer would simply be x equals 0 and x equals 6 as the two spots where this quadratic, if I come back up to the beginning, that quadratic intersects at 5. So to summarize this lesson, what do we do? Uh, we learned that you can uh, solve an absolute value equation by graphing. Um, just think of them as being, both sides of the equation as being y equals and graph those and see where they intersect. Or we can uh, do it algebraically. How do we do it algebraically? You uh, make your two cases. All right, so basically what you do is you just take what's uh, in the absolute value sign. You set one of them greater than or equal to zero, one of them less than zero, uh, and see what your restrictions are. And then uh, when you go down to solve, in case number one, you get rid of the absolute value sign and solve it. And in case number two, put a negative in front of the absolute value sign. And lastly, um, make sure you check your restrictions.